All right, so the team told me about this little dog in here that has a situation. Oh, hi. Yeah, see? <laughs> I see your little face. Um, Let's go in and look. So, it's, I hear it. I hear it's really bad. Um, let's see if we can see. Hi. I don't see it. So supposedly, one of those legs is broken pretty bad. Um, hi, cute little cattle dog. I don't know, you can't, I don't, wait, is it that one? Maybe, no? I can't tell, let's go in and sit down with this little pup. Hi. Hi, it's okay, it's okay. Hi. Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna go real slow. It's okay. I don't I don't want this little one walking on their broken leg. Hold on, let me let me get you. <laughs> Why is your water bowl so big? Hi. Oh, there it is. Hi. Hi. Okay, can I come in and spend a minute with you? Hi. I'm so sorry. Hi. Okay, hold on. Let me go let me go get some treats and a blanket and we're gonna figure out what's going on with you. Okay, hi. It's okay, don't get up. Don't get up. You're okay. You're okay. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna sit too far away. I normally kinda sit farther away when I initially sit with a dog, but he or she obviously just needs some love and I don't want her walking too far. Hi. Hi. Oh my goodness. Hi. Oh, your boy. I see I see it there. Oh hi. Oh. Hi. Oh my goodness. What happened to you? Are you, do you want the scoop right out of the gate? I don't see any reason to wait here. Here, don't, I don't want you walking around on that, bud. Do you want some food? Here, let me, let me make this a little bigger so we can have some space. Oh, you found my whole tree. It fell. <laughs> Come here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Come here. I feel like you want up in my lap. Yeah, you can see it. I don't want to hurt your leg. First, let's get you a treat. Here. Let's start with a treat. Here, right here, right here, right here. Not the big one. Here. Start with the little one, buddy. Good boy. Oh, oh, here, go, oh, right here. There you go. Good boy. You like treats? You deserve some treats. Hi. Oh, he is cute. Look, oh, oh, he. <laughs> He's a tree eater. Let's see if we can see what's going on. Yeah, I want to pick him up, but I also want to be really careful because I don't want to cause any pain. Um, hi. We're going to have to get his story because I don't know what... He's gone through health checks, so they've looked at the leg. Now, I will say right out of the gate, um, a dog in his situation... He, I, he, I know the staff told me he's, he had a broken leg. He is on pain meds. So I just want to say that because I know when you see him, the concern is, oh, he's in pain. Now, the pain meds don't take all the pain away, but they help a little bit. There you go. And he seems to be like sitting on it and bending it. I mean, I think it's broken, absolutely. But it's probably not a fresh break that happened within the last day or two. It's probably been some time. I just, I guess the thing is, is I just don't know like how you get to this situation where this little dog, this this little cattle dog. Hi, can I pet you? Is in this bad of a situation. Oh, hi, bud. I sh he's showing me. He's showing me. I know, buddy. I know. Did you see that? He just showed me. Hi. I know. It's okay. Hi. Are you sneezing? Has he got a reverse cough there? I mean, he, he might be sick on top of the leg. 
okay. So normally when I'm sitting with dogs, I go through the whole process of looking away, letting them come to me. He obviously doesn't need that. He's a little puppy. He needs comfort and love and he need, he deserves to be pain free, which is what just breaks my heart. And so I'm giving him little bits of treats here to try to take his mind off that, you know, but the fact that he's showing me that his leg hurts, he's asking for help. And you know, the problem with dogs in shelters in this situation is the medical cost that goes into fixing a dog like this is tremendous. <laughs> He could be a Flips Farm candidate. Like I, we're not even ready yet. I'll tell you what Flips Farm is. It, it, my my farm. Um, it's the first time I'm actually talking about it at the shelter, where we are uh, now. It just opened yesterday. Um, we're going to be rehabilitating dogs, taking them in, and um, yeah, and that's what, that's what my shirt is. You see a bunch of coffee on there because you can actually buy the coffee to help support flips farm but he could be a good candidate for flips farm to take him like what if we took him what if we took him and let him rehabilitate at the farm it's the whole thing that the farm is for and we're able to get him the surgery that he needed the thing is that we're not ready yet we don't have the fence built we don't have the um, hvac like the heating and the cooling in yet it's supposed to be it's supposed to be installed right now as we're talking i haven't tested the electrical but for all intents and purposes like we have the permits we could do it if we could finish that in time hi oh buddy it's okay don't walk where are you going any water i'll bring the water to you bud come on here here there you go what a brave little guy you you are so brave he keeps going back to that back corner always oh, hide behind me come here come here let's do this scoop. i think it's time to do it be very careful okay okay <laughs> just watch the treat it's just, hold up buddy hold on that's treat that treat stick is bigger than you are the thing is, is like that might be the first time he's taken water because he wasn't comfortable enough to get up and get it. But so brave for a little dog like that to be in so much pain and then still be brave enough to walk around. Like imagine if you had a broken leg and you were still going to walk around. Oh, look. I, but, I mean, is there anything cuter than a little, a little he healer puppy? I just don't know. Let's do this. We can't do anything until we find his story. He might be owner known. It might be an, an abuse case. Like, we don't know. Um, I would venture to guess that his leg has been broken for a little bit. So let's call and find out his story. Hi, Alexis. Hi. I, did I see you out on the computer pulling up notes and stuff? Yes. All right. Tell me we got something. Because I, I, I would get, I would go as far as to guess that he, this leg has been broken for a little bit. Like, how, how many days has he been here? So he has been here already for about two, I think going on three days. So did he come in with it broken? Yes. So he did actually come in with it broken already. Okay. Microchip? No microchip. He was found by a good Samaritan at a park. Really? Yeah, and uh, I mean, they have no idea how he got it at this point, uh, but the Good Samaritan brought him in like that. That is wild. So he, he was just at a park with a broken leg, and, and they brought him in, and we're pretty sure it was a Good Samaritan? Yeah, because the Good Samaritan, you know, gave all the information they could. They were, you know, even interested in potentially adopting this guy. Oh. But again, I think the vet fees, you know, the issue with the leg, and I, I think that that kind of pushed them um, away from actually taking the, the guy home, unfortunately. Yeah, just the unknown vet costs that, that are going to be there. Exactly. Gosh, I mean, he's not like wildly skinny or anything either. So I, I don't think he was like trying to survive on his own in a part. I mean, a coyote would have got him, <laughs> you know, like, so he likely wasn't out there too long. Either he wandered off from somewhere or somebody, you know, as sad as it is to say, it could be that somebody dropped him off there and left him. Okay, so he went through health check, right? 
he did. Um, and I know he actually went to the vet, I believe, because an animal control officer kept him overnight after I think his, his vet checkup. Oh, wow. Okay. That's very kind of them. Uh, just so he had a home to stay in that night. Oh, okay. So what the vet say? So, I mean, they just have him on a medication right now. There's, I don't think there's a plan of action just yet, but I think they're waiting on notes from the vet at this point Okay. Uh, because he's just being considered for rescue or, or something else uh, at this point with that leg. Yeah. He can't just be adopted because there's that, there's going to be the cost of that leg. Um, I mean, it's broken, right? I mean, obviously. Yes. It doesn't say, like, they probably didn't do x-rays at the vet or anything? They might have. Uh, they're just waiting. Uh, I see a note in here that says they're waiting on vet details. I just didn't know if they knew, like, if it was broken in multiple places or, I mean, it looks pretty bad. Like, he's not, it's kind of dangling. He's not putting any weight on it. Exactly. So, I'm sure, I, I'm sure they probably did x-rays or something when he went to his vet appointment, and now they're just getting the results in the details uh, really soon here. Oh, what are we going to do? Because, yeah, he's not going to get adopted and, you know, not with these yeah. costs. And he's only three months old. He's been through a lot, and we don't even have a name for him either. Oh, man. Do you see Kelly out there? Yeah, Kelly's out here. Okay, I might have her come in here in a minute. Let me, I'm going to give him some positive affirmations here, and uh, and then I've got an idea that I'm throwing around. And I may need to call you back on that. All right, sounds good. I can't tell if he's like more comfortable or, or less comfortable in my lap. There are moments where he like feels the comfort. But let me just tell you something, buddy. And I, I want everyone needs to hear this because you deserve this. I know your little life has been rough so far. And I don't know if it's just been a rough couple of weeks or it's been rough since day one. But I want to tell you, no matter what, you don't deserve any of this. You are a good boy. And you are going to have an amazing life where you get to be the best cattle dog ever. Hi. Are you not listening to me? <laughs> isn't, isn't that just like a little one? <laughs> like, it's like, it's like with my kids, like I sit them down, like, I, need, I want to tell you something. I want this to stick with you. Dad really wants you to know this. And they're just like, I tooted <laughs> or something silly like that. And it's like you, huh? It might be just a pain, too, where you can't focus for too long. But no matter what, you are a good boy. You're a good boy. He's a good boy. You're a good puppy. Yeah, you're a good puppy. He's a good boy. He's so soft. Guys, he is so soft and velvety. Are you excited about Flip's Farm? Basically, what it is in a nutshell is when you buy Flip Coffee, that I will link right here on the screen, right here, you can just click through the screen and you can buy it. Not only do you get a delicious coffee, but it helps support Flip's Farm that rehabilitates dogs. Dogs just like this that um, need that time to, to just rehabilitate and heal where in most shelters across America, they won't get that time because the medical cost is there and the shelter can't cover it and people won't adopt the dog because they can't cover it and it's the end of the line. So we're going to help with that and we are going to uh, take dogs that need that extra help. We start small, start with one, see if we can grow that. And it's all in honor of my boy Flip because he helped me rehabilitate so many dogs and foster these dogs. And um, I just want to keep that going in his kind of loving spirit and take it to the, the next level. Oh my goodness, melt my heart. Look at this guy. Hi. Oh, we're going to need to come up with a name for you. And... We're going to need you to really sell it when my wife comes in here because I told her, I was like, don't worry, babe, until it's completely ready. Once once everything is completely ready, the electrical's on, the fence is built, we have run through all of the procedures and how we're going to clean and, and the schedule and everything, then we'll bring a dog home. Don't worry about it until then. <laughs> we're probably like two to three weeks out, but we could pull it together. We could pull it together. But the thing is, we'll have to sell Kelly on it. And we'll have to see if we can get it to be her idea even more so. You think you can do that? First, let's let's bring her in here under the guise that we need help naming you. And then and then we'll drop this on her. Um, okay, let's call her real quick. Let's call Alexis too so she can help us with, uh, with a name. Uh, do you see this guy? Yes. Yeah. I, I beelined it right over here because the whole team was like, you got to go see this dog. You got to go see this dog. 
Did you see how many puppies the shelter has right now? An unbelievable amount. Is that what you were looking at, all the puppies? <laughs> Be honest. Yes, I mean. Okay, so, okay, hold on. Go slow because, because, I bet Alexis on the phone too. His leg is broken right here. Okay. Really bad. Like it's bending in ways it shouldn't bend. Right. It's like a pasta noodle. Like okay. elbow macaroni, but the wrong direction. Okay. What's the one that spins around? What? Um, I don't know. We got married in Capri. We named our daughter Capri. And you don't know your pasta noodles? I don't either. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know. Just, you know. just as much me. Okay, hold on. Busy. Okay, you gotta bring your energy oh, with that. What is going on? What are, you, what, are you, what are you doing? I'm usually the one with the high energy. <laughs> How cute is he? He's very cute. He's very sweet. He, wait, Alexis, what breed is he? He's an Australian cattle dog. He's an Australian cattle dog. I called him healer earlier. He's not a healer. Okay. Right? Healer and cattle dog are the same thing. Are they? They just either call him an Australian cattle dog or, uh, you know, a blue healer. Okay. That's what I thought. All right. So we're going to need a name. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any suggestions? I've got one. I've got an idea, but I want to see what you guys think first. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is Bluey. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's really cute. That's really cute. Well, Alexis, what about you? you have any ideas? up with is gonna be like actually exemplify how cute he really is it's so hard yeah well and i'm just so thick into you know toddler stuff that <laughs> into bluey bluey <laughs> hey oh you have the shirt on too by the way hey look at us we're we're a little as you can tell we're a little excited about this whole thing okay so um here. what's your what's the name you're thinking of well bluey is fantastic and that's really cute and that's actually the first thing i was thinking of you and i think alike but as you were saying that i came up with something else so so it was bluey okay. for sure w one name i thought it could be cute is um bean bean now oh i know what you're gonna say what do you have an idea what are you thinking i know you what are you thinking why what are you thinking Tell me what you're thinking. It's not what I'm thinking. No, no, no. It's what you're thinking. Tell me, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Tell me what. <laughs> Don't. You're trying to make this my idea. I'm not. I didn't just meet you today. <laughs> Gosh, this guy. Guys, this is not working out. <laughs> you want to name him Bean after Coffee Bean. You want to bring him on the Flips Farm. I'm not ready. <laughs> I thought I had that all navigated. <laughs> but this is, yeah. I mean, hey. If now, if you want it, okay, but, yeah. but the the HVAC's going in today, like right now, like the guy's uh -huh. texting me back and forth. Yeah. So that should be set up today. But then the only thing we have to do is I can get out there and build a fence. Mm -hmm. Have you seen me build a fence before? No, <laughs> I have not. I can build a fence really fast uh -huh. and the post will be very crooked, basically straight. <laughs> It's not like we need layers of security for him and like, he, he, I mean, yeah, yeah, he's a puppy, but like also he's going to be on meds. The, well, mean. so. Alexis, are you hearing this? I am. It's just the, the good old Rocky Kelly banter once again. Okay. Whose side are you on here? You need to pick a side, me or Kelly. Do, should we take him or Kelly doesn't want to take him? I didn't say that. Kelly Sorry. doesn't like dogs. So <laughs> <laughs> she hates puppies. Um, and she doesn't want to honor Flip's legacy. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. So, Alexis, what side are you on? Well. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. I won't put you next. Okay, so you want but, the, for the dog. But if you. Um, I would be on the side of the dog. Yeah. I think he's just too cute and just needs help. I think he would be such a great first, first uh, dog in line for Flip's farm. I, realistically, though, I think we could do it. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, I think the fact that it's a smaller dog, it's a puppy, some medical care, he's probably going to need surgery, so there's going to be a lot of downtime, and, you know, we've gotten a bunch of dogs' leg surgeries. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Be very careful. See that leg right there? That's... Yeah, this one. Yeah. So, just don't put any pressure on that side. Okay. Now, before you make any final decisions... Just take a minute with, what do we think, Bean or Bluey? 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're doing what that. What do you want to name it? I guess it? we're naming him Bean. <laughs> is, it, is it? And technically, we have to adopt him. Um, oh, so he's sleeping in bed tonight? Well, well. No, not her, it's like. So paperwork wise, what we have to do is we have to adopt him because we're not a nonprofit. I know. And then we would let him rehabilitate and then we would adopt him. I guess the question is, are we adopting him? Are we adopting the dog you named Bean? Who? I mean, I don't know how I say no to this. <laughs> okay, yeah. in, in all honesty, I guess the question is, should we adopt him if we can get the vet to take him in? We're going to have to have to get the right vet to be able to help us with this. If we can uh, get the shelter to say yes, we got to get them to tell us it would be okay. And it's going to be expensive. This is what Flips Farm is for. And if we can get enough people to buy coffee. <laughs> go now. Go now. <laughs> click the link. Buy, buy the coffee. Uh, but if we can do all those, is it a yes? Do you think we can do it? I mean, I know it'll be a yeah. lot of work, but I think... We can We can definitely do it. I mean, you know, we're going to have to figure some stuff out pretty quickly because we weren't um, expecting to bring a dog home for a couple weeks. But, you know, dogs like this and shelters with broken legs, it's tough. Uh, Alexis, you hear that, though? We got that cameras are rolling. I guess we have recording, so. Yeah, the proof is there. He's our is he our first Flip's farm dog? I don't know. Is Flip watching over him right now? Oh. What? Oh, oh. Hello. That was neat. That was weird. Did you see that? That was wild. Uh by the way, Flip would love him. Yeah. Flip would do so good with him. Oh, I miss Flipper. Um, okay. Let's bring everyone with us. Let's go ask the questions we need to ask and make the calls we need to make. Yeah, let's find out if they've done like, any sort of x-ray to know how bad it is. Because, you know, Snoop broke his leg one time, and he didn't need surgery. He just uh, wore a cast for yeah. a couple months. One of our dogs, which could be the case. And if he needs a cast, we can get him We can get him that, let him well, so he's comfortable. Well, especially because he's a puppy, he's got so much growing to do. Yeah. But we want to get it right now, get it set yeah. so that it, so that he doesn't lose that yeah. leg. Depends what which, kind of break. Yeah, it could be. You know, sometimes it's amputations. Oh. Oh, you got cases. that sharp puppy teeth. Oh, right but look at him playing. We're gonna have to get you some toys. He's like, oh, mom, <laughs> temporary mom. Um, a lot of people are gonna say, this seems like your dog. You should adopt this dog. He's so cute. But listen, our commitment to these dogs is we don't adopt that. We help them in their path to their new homes. It would be like if a rescue adopted every dog. Like, quickly not be a rescue. Yeah, you would now be at max on dogs. So. He is going to need a home. And uh, and I'll put all that information down below, too, so you can sign up. And let's go do some investigating. Yeah, uh, it's my doubt. What, what they because know. it still may not happen. Like, we, we may not be able to pull it off. We got There are a lot of potential roadblocks still. So we got to get the yes from the shelter. We've got to get the yes from Animal Care Services because we're going to need we're going to need a team and a, a team of pros to help with this. And uh, and if all that works out, then we can swoop them up and, well, I can go build a fence and then we can swoop them up and then he can be the first Flips Farm dog. But do I really even have to build a fence right away? Because he's not going to be, it's not like he's going to be running around right away. No, he, he shouldn't be walking on it. Anyway, right. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, come on, guys. Let's go find some stuff. Well, why don't you go find out and I'll see you here with you. <laughs> <laughs> little buddy. Look at him. Oh, my gosh. No, he's worn out just from that. It's okay. Lay down. Lay down. No, no, no. Stay there. Don't walk on that leg, Bubba. Okay. See you soon, Bean. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? It feels like the right decision, doesn't it? Well, okay. So, it does for multiple reasons. Obviously, Flip. Yeah. But, and then Zozo. We used to call yeah. her Zozo Bean. Yeah, well, that's true. Um, and the coffee. You with me. Let's go talk to Jonathan and whoever else we need to to see if we can even get permission. And then uh, we got to call Animal Care Services yeah. to see if we can do the vet stuff. Let's go. There you go. Let's Just another go. question. Look at yeah. you standing up. Too. Let's try it. Hi. How are you, my friend? Good. Can I adopt a dog? I don't think so. You have way oh. too many. Well, yeah. <laughs> so You're above right your here. limit. Well, I only have one right now. I'm in San Diego County. Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Take them all. <laughs> to get that boxer remember we oh, um it's a dog with a broken leg i would love for you to take that off 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. It's the little puppy. Yeah. Oh, can you do a hold? Yeah. And then I've got because I've got to work on the vet and you know paying for it and all that kind of stuff. So it looks like it'll be available on Monday. Great. So I'll just throw it out for you, or Lisa will be here because I won't be off that. Yeah. I'll, so I'll we'll just throw it out for you. Uh, <laughs> you get a day off. Every once in a while. Every once in a while. You guys rock. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I told you they were great, Alexis. Gosh. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's really good. The thing is, is like, the, they're so wonderful here. Like the fact that John and Elise would just be like, yeah, absolutely, that makes sense. One, it's because the reputation we built, like you can't just walk in any shelter and do that. Because normally you have to be a rescue to do something like that. But two, it's because they care so much about the animals here, like doing whatever it takes to get them in the best situation they can. Like, that's, I'm getting chills, I love these guys. Um, okay, but we still have to make sure the vets are packed everywhere, and so even if you, even in this situation, you have to find a vet that can help you, and we've got to do it, you know, we've got to find a vet that, that will put a lot of extra love and care to. I think now that Macy is out of animal care services, who, they took such good care of her, we can just call them and see if they can take her. Um, what do you think? I think that's fantastic. I just think that uh, I heard from the team that the dog actually went to the vet for a checkup so it's possible that they already have, have like records. record or x-ray from like an initial exam so have. i would want to ask around and see Let's if we could that. get that possibly forwarded to animal care services they're gonna no matter what animal care services would do a full workup but if we have that then we're just you know we're just one step ahead of it and we know what we're walking into because uh, it's gonna be expensive um okay you want to call them Let's give them a call. Call him. Get it done. I, I and let me know, like, if you guys like seeing this too, kind of the behind the scenes stuff. I mean, this is the stuff we're doing all the time. Um, but I think it's kind of fun to show because I didn't like before I went into this and just started figuring out how to help animals. Uh, I didn't know how all this worked, uh, and not that this is how it works. Like, it's different at every shelter and rescue. But getting to see the behind the scenes, the scenes stuff that took me years to learn. I don't know, I just thought it was fun to show. Quiet on set. That, that is not how it works at the shelter. <laughs> okay, I'll let you call. All right. First, I gotta talk to him about the event. Let him know that Oh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, because I'm supposed to. <laughs> I'm in trouble, huh? Yeah. They're having an event, uh, an open house. That I do want to tell them I, I absolutely want to come in. We might be out of town, but if we're not out of town, we'll go. So tell them one, Rocky's coming, unless he's out of town. And two, we need a favor. <laughs> All right, let me give him a call. Yeah, of course. So we're uh, calling. Um, we wanted to inquire about potentially uh, getting a dog that's in need um, here at Animal Friends of the Valleys over to you guys. All right, sounds great. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. All, right. All right, you too. Bye-bye. So stay tuned. I guess, uh, Let's fingers wait. crossed, yeah, the next video <laughs> is, uh, is Flip's Farm with Bean. Oh my god, it killed me! <laughs> but okay, but subscribe and uh, become a member. Go buy some coffee. Stick with us. I think we can pull this one off. We just gotta find the vet that can help us out because if we don't have that, you know, we can't let this little one suffer in pain. So.